Hello, welcome to this session today. We're gonna to talk about in our section of test analysis or test question analysis, we're gonna talk about loan to value ratio or LTV. Very important concept to understand when working real estate math or real estate calculations for the state exam, okay? So we're gonna look at loan to value ratio, the rules that apply and how to compute it. Um, it's a very important, very important concept because you can kind of get mixed up with numbers and I'm gonna show you with a sample problem, okay? My name is John Enzing. I'm a, a, a licensed real estate broker in Louisiana and Florida. My specialty is to tutor, private tutor, students like yourself and get you ready for the state exam, prep you for the state exam, okay? Non-credited hours, it doesn't count towards your 90 hours, it's just to get you ready for your state exam, okay? So you can go to privatetutoringsession.com privatetutoringsession.com if you need additional help. Okay, let's get right into this. Here we go. We're talking about loan to value ratio. This is almost a guaranteed math problem that you're gonna get on the state exam, okay? So let's look at what loan to value ratio is and its components and, and how to uh, set up a problem to work out. Because there's a lot of play on words that you can get hooked on and get the wrong answer with the right intention, okay? so. Here we go. All right, here's the question I'm gonna use. Um, a house listed for 250,000, a buyer placed an offer for 240,000 to the seller and the seller accepted the offer. Remember from contract law, an offer is not a contract until what? Accepted by the seller. So I got a signature from the buyer, makes an offer, seller accepts it, now we're on the contract. Here is for 240,000. The house appraised for 235,000, okay? So what happens is the buyer gives that contract to the lender, lender starts to process the loan, gets an appraisal for the house, and the house comes back and appraises for 235,000, which is 5,000 less than what it's under contract for. Very important concept, and I'll explain that to you. The lender pre-approved the buyer for an 80% loan to value ratio, or LTV. What is the amount the buyer borrowed, okay? What is the amount the buyer borrowed? Now, you gotta know a couple of rules of thumb, okay? Rules of thumb to know. First, what is LTV? That means loan to value ratio. Simply put, watch this. It's the loan to the value of the property. In other words, how much money the lender's going to lend me predicated on the value of the property in a percent or a ratio. So it's the amount of money or the loan that I'm going to be lent or the buyer is going to be lent to the value of what the property, again, cost, sales price, contract price, or appraised value, whichever is less, which leads me into number two. This is the rule of thumb you have to know. Lenders always are going to use the contract price or the sales price or appraised value, whichever is less, okay? So it basically comes down to this. A lender will never make a loan on a property to a buyer than what it's worth, than, than more than what it's worth, okay? So for example, if you are a lender and I, you pre-approved me for 300,000, but the home came back at 280,000, are you gonna lend me 300,000? No, because the house isn't worth 300. It's only worth 280. So you're gonna lend me the lesser of the two. And so that's the rule of thumb that you need to know contract slash sales price or the appraised value, whichever's less is what the lender's gonna use uh, in a computation to make a, to make a loan, okay? Or to compute a loan value based on this LTV here. So the lender's never gonna make a loan on a property for more than it's worth. Now, it's as simple as this. We see we got a contract price and an appraised value. Now, notice this, the house is listed for 250,000. Yes, they like to put that number in there. And, and yes, students will bite on that and use that number as a calculation, okay? So you have to understand list price has nothing to do with an LTV computation. Remember, it's the contract slash sales price or the appraised value, whichever is less. So 240,000 is what we're under contract for and 235,000 is what it's appraised for. So the lesser of those two is what we're using for the computation, okay? So we're gonna use the lesser of 240 and 235. Of course, 235,000 is what we're gonna use. 
Now, 80% LTV is what we're assigned from the bank. Con uh, the appraised value is 235, a simple multiplication, and it's gonna be a percent converted to a decimal, okay? A, a percent converted to a decimal. So we're talking about 235,000 times 80% equals 188,000 will be my loan amount that I'm going to uh, be pre-approved for or the lender will lend me. Again, it's predicated on the lesser of the two of the contract slash sales price or the appraised value, whichever is less. Don't buy it on the 250,000. It's a list price, has nothing to do with the problem. But these test writers like to put those extra numbers in there thinking, throwing the student off and thinking they have to use it somehow and they don't, okay? So we're talking about answer C, 188,000. Hey, listen, I hope you enjoyed the short session today on our test question analysis on loan to value ratio. Again, if you need some one-on-one -on -one help uh, to test prep and get ready for your exam, you can go to privatetutoringsession.com, privatetutoringsession.com. Listen, good luck on your exam. If you need some help, hope to see you. Bye now.